question is how does she sound this good how does she do Hi guys, it my name is sarah and welcome to sarah on filter today we're going to be reviewing leah's ep it dropped yesterday as of the time that i'm recording and i'm going to be telling you if i think this is a good ep if i think that this ep is going to eventually be successful and if i think that leah is worth all of the hype that davido and everybody in 30 bg is giving her if you're interested in this content then you should totally keep watching so after a very long time, Leah finally gave us a Larry, and I dare say that the introduction to this EP is fire. The first song that is a Larry itself, if you've not just heard it before, let me just give you a snippet. You know of what to expect when you hear the first song on the Alari EP from 30 BG's First Lady Leah. <laughs> Just, just wait for the best part, which is when her voice actually starts, like when she starts singing. That's the best part. How, how? I'm not even going to continue playing, but that's what you should expect when you hear the song, Alari. The question is, how does she sound this good? How does she do it? My goodness, absolutely, absolutely love it. Like, I was like, way to go. This is the right way to start an EP, especially when you have a point to make. You know, when it's like, guys, I'm not just here to enjoy Davido's money and enjoy being around Davido. I actually have something. This is what you should sound like. That's what I thought when I heard it. Let me know what you think about, you know, just this snippet. And of course, you should go listen to the song. I'll put the links for you um, just in case you don't know where to get the song from. I'll put the links for you in the description box. So, yeah. After that one, the next song is La, La Kiborito. Hold on one second. Let me confirm again. It's Lucky Riboto. And this one features Davido. You have no idea what this one sounds like? Let's check it out, you know, let's help you, let's help you. <laughs> ah. Mad, mad. See, the truth is, I can't even dance. But then, this EP just... And I imagine moving from Alari to this, this is the second track on the EP. You know, it's so sad that I don't even understand what she's saying. And yet I'm feeling it so much. So there's a part where Davido, um, the part where Davido shows up, of course, and then he's pitching and I'm like, do I like it? Do I not like it? Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Let's check that part out. Notice what he's doing. He first of all started with harmonizing. So, so that's a plus, you know? Let's leave it here. See, the thing is, when David will start speaking on a song, you know, say, they do done fully, finally enter body. And that's how I felt about it. If it is, you go do one now. If it is, you go shout like this on top song. But the truth is, when I heard it, I was like, do I like it? Do I not like it? Do I like it? Oh, yes, I definitely like it. Because when you when you feel the uniqueness on this song, like Kiri Butter, you can tell that the both of them are not trying to sound like anybody. They were both honestly just trying to be their very authentic selves. Trying to sound just the way they are supposed to. You know, when you hear Leah and you're saying, what is, Leah, what is Leah's sound? This is it. When you hear Davido, what is Davido's sound? This is it. So yes, absolutely love it. Let's go now to the third song on the EP. See ya. At this point, you should know that I'm a huge fan of this EP. I like it. I like it. It made an impression in me. So I would advise that you go check it out, okay? So yeah, let's go to the next song on the EP. And this one is called Years Ago. So let's check it out together, okay? 
some Afrobeat movements in here, you know? Ah. No, no, no. Nobody know. Let's just end it here. Let us just end it here. The point is that track three in, and you know that this EP is a jam. See, yeah, at this point, I don't know. I'm, th I'm thinking I should just stop playing it for you. I'm thinking I should just stop playing it for you, really, honestly. But after this one, of course, we've had Melo that was released earlier in the year. So yeah, Melo was um, the fourth song. The fifth song was Adua. That is the one that um, she just released the video for. I don't know if I should be doing a reaction to this video. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Would you let me know in the comment section, you know? But yeah, it was directed by Dammit Switch, who I have a crush on, you know? But let's keep it yeah. <laughs> But yes, um, from what I, the snippets I saw online on Instagram, I thought that it was a pretty good video. So yeah, I haven't seen the video yet, but I do. Uh, you don't know what it sounds like, then you should check this out. Have a day. So I don't know why it gives me a gospel vibe. I, I don't know why it gives me a gospel vibe, but yeah, that's the song that I, unfortunately, I said it before, it's my, my least favorite song. I'm not saying it's not a good song, it's a great song, but it didn't get me as excited as other songs on the EP. So I don't know why they decided to shoot the video for this one. So maybe the lyrics are just very prayerful and meaningful and special. And that's why they decided to shoot a video for this. I have no idea, but it's a beautiful song. And then now it's time for the final song on the EP. Let's check it out together. And this one is called Olodumari. I think Olodumari is God. It's supposed to be Olodumari. It's, it's supposed to be God. So yeah, let's check this one out together. So yeah. She has a very beautiful voice, like what? let's just leave it here let's just leave it here but then now you kind of like have an idea what the ep sounds like and i dare say that it's beautiful it is very unique in its sense you're listening to it and you're not saying oh she sounded like this person here or oh, she sounded like that person here or oh, they were trying to sample this song here you could feel the originality and that is what i love so much about leah the fact that she's very very original she's she's she's, she's a breath of fresh air she's something that you didn't expect that you would need but you actually do need because you've never seen or heard anyone who sounds like her so i would definitely totally 100 percent recommend alari the ep leah thumbs up shout out to the dmw camp like you guys are so amazing like thank you peruzi according to the rumor on the streets that you discovered leah for dmw so thank you um love the ep love the ep love the ep you should go listen to it okay just five songs you know you've heard melo before you can listen to melo again but yeah Top three songs on the EP for me has to be Alari, Years Ago, and then Lucky Rebuttal, the one that features Dibido. I hope I did not mispronounce that word. But yeah, you definitely love the EP. And of course, Olo Dumari and Adua, which has a video, which unfortunately is my least favorite song. But it's fine. I love all the songs and I think that they are all so beautiful. And maybe I should actually learn Yoruba because I feel like I'm missing out on something vital because I don't understand the language that she's speaking. And if you notice, Leah is a part your bass singer like she doesn't even mean words so yeah thank you so much for watching my channel if you enjoyed this video you should definitely subscribe hit the subscribe button and let me know what you think i should do next bye